Now, I've got John here, correct? Yes, Dutch. And I have Marianne. Yes. Now, Marianne, um, you are originally Hungarian. Yes. And sitting behind you is Judith, who I've asked to be here today. <coughs> um, your English is fine, but I wanted to be absolutely sure that you understood everything. So if there's any point you don't understand something I say, put your hand up. And Judith, if you wouldn't mind stopping and helping us out yes. with a Hungarian interpretation. Yes. John, if you could speak slowly and clearly so that everybody can understand, all right? OK. And I thank you for coming to court today and for preparing yourself so well. I see Thanks. you've had a new haircut. It can only be described as a Brazilian. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I don't know what the Hungarian interpretation of that is. Same thing, I would have thought, Judith, yes? It is indeed. John, this is a very interesting matter. You're suing Marianne, who I have to say, by and large, has been reasonable in this matter for damage that was done to a car. And, Marianne, your reply is, I've already paid you for the damage, and if there's anything else that's outstanding, that's not my problem. Correct? Yes? Understood? Yeah. Very simple. Now, John, what's your job, John? Uh, I'm a private hire driver. How long have you done this for? I've done it for eight years. With no problems? Absolutely no problems. That's, uh... Up until this. Sure. I understand that. What car was it? It's a seat Toledo. It's a Toledo? Yeah. How much did you pay for it? Uh, about 16000 A lot of money, but that's your business. That's it. And you pay it off each month, and that's a tax deductible. It's a business expense, correct? Yep. Now, at the time that you eventually gave the car to Marianne, how much was the car worth? Uh, maybe only 2000 less, about 12000 it was only 40,000 miles, it's not a lot. Oh, and that's not... Well, how come it was so low? Were you not uh, doing well as a taxi driver or were you doing local journeys only? Well, I did pretty good, but genuinely I only do two hours a day myself. You do what? Two hours. Two hours a Aye. day? So... I thought I, you said tours. No, I know. Uh, I do normally an hour in the morning and an hour in the afternoon for the school runs. And I've got a bouncy castle company that I run on the side. Nevertheless, this car was very important to you. Uh, very important. Yeah. Let's get to Marianne. You were neighbours? Yeah. My partner stays next to Marianne, so that's how I met Marianne. Just gone up and didn't my partners. Say that again, sorry. Yeah, I'm saying uh, my girlfriend... You don't... You do Hungarian. <laughs> do you do Scottish? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately not. And occasionally Marianne would pass by and uh, just one day she asked me how the taxi worked. Got you. OK. You had a discussion about the taxi. Were you working at that time, Marianne? I've been delivery driver. For what kind of company? Uh, in pizza. A pizza? A pizza company? Yes. Were you the delivery driver on the moped? No, I was driving my car. You have an idea that you might decide for a few hours a day to be a taxi driver, correct? Yes. Can I ask you to come and stand up for a second? Thank you. Why did you try this? Honnan jött az ötlet először, hogy taxi is kén dolgoz? Ez mindig is érdekelt engem, és szeretem magam kipróbálni több területen, és mindig uh, jobb és jobb akarok lenni előző önmagamnál. Um, it is something that always interested me, and I like to try myself in different things, and I always want to do something better and better every time. Completely understand. What did you agree with Maria? We agreed, uh, first of all, we'd get a license, get a form of dealt with. As soon as you got a taxi badge in, She'd pay me £300 per week every Sunday uh, to drive the car. She'd pay £300 a week every Sunday to drive the car? Yeah. Right, which would cover your costs and expenses. Definitely. Right, and you were satisfied she had a licence. Were you satisfied she was insured? No, she had to be insured. I had to do that myself. You organised all of that for uh, her as well. Did the £300 cover that whole lot? Yeah, just about. That's very important. I'm just checking that you did everything correctly, which you did. Definitely. It's not simply a case of handing her over the car. No. Now, everything was OK at first, no problems, yes? How long did you drive the car before there was a problem? Three months before I started. Uh, we started working together between middle of August. Three months? Yes. At some point, something happened. What happened, Marianne? On these nights, I've been a little bit tired been very heavy rain, been dark. I was driving on this area what I don't know very good. This street been how one U turning, cars parking on every two sides. And when I'm turning my head for one half second, 
and I going to one uh, parking one. You crashed the car? Yes. And I've got a photo of it. Let's have a quick look. Oh dear, what's the Hungarian for goodness me? That's not very good. Tejó ég. Tejó ég. Tejó ég. Yes. I was the same. What's the Hungarian for talking, by the way? Beszél. <laughs> for more Judge Rinder cases, click here. And if you've got a legal issue yourself, get in touch with us by clicking over here.